Building upon a falsehood would only lead to faulty knowledge, and so Descartes begins the process of doubt, and so he must disregard everything he has ever believed or has ever known, and start the process again from a fresh slate, from the bottom up. I see. So anything formally accepted as truth or as knowledge now must be brought into doubt. Very interesting you should say that, because in fact Descartes says that doubting knowledge we have attained through the senses is in fact completely necessary. How comes? Because our senses deceive us, and we know this. You know perfectly well that there are optical illusions. If we put a stick in a pool of water it looks bent, when we take it out it looks straight, our senses are viewing this incorrectly. You said sometimes there are illusions in specific areas, but in fact Descartes considers the times when all our senses are in fact deceived in their entirety, as he now considers his dreams. He may feel that at the moment he is sitting in his chair by the fire with his papers on his lap, but in fact he has dreamt this scenario before. He has had vivid dreams of being in this exact same situation, and everything that he was perceiving was nothing more than a mental projection. There was no physical chair or fire, even the body he believed he had was not real. The movement of his arms and legs and everything was nothing more than an illusion. Would you not agree that many people can find themselves in this state? Yes, I would agree we can have dreams that are indistinguishable from reality. If our senses can put us in this state, then why should you not believe that right now you are dreaming? That everything you are doing is a dream, that you are in fact being deceived at every conscious moment of your life. How could you ever know? If you have been in a state where all your senses were deceiving you, then what is to say you are not always in a state where all your senses are deceiving you? It is because of this that Descartes must doubt everything imaginable, including the knowledge our senses have produced. 